barn hacks. This is going to be summer and winter because I didn't want to just do summer. Because, guys, if you have a look, the weather isn't nice. It's raining. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to be showing you some barn hacks today. We've got old Lulu. So, these are going to be mix and match barn hacks kind of thing. Summer and winter and just... Oh, I don't know. But anyway, why don't we just get started with the first barn hack. So guys, first barn hack is if you have a field kept horse, um, you want to make sure that you want to get rid of as many poos as you can, otherwise that will produce more flies. Um, so yeah, you want to make sure you're getting all the poos out of their field um, quite frequently. And you also want to be careful of rag work. Now, rag work can be, I believe, poisonous. Don't quote me on this. Okay. I believe it can be poisonous, but all I know is it's not good for horses. So you want to make sure that you can try and find as much as you can. Like, I've got some over here. Like, you want to honestly make sure you can literally get as much as you can rag work uh like that so basically so all i'm going to be doing right now is going around louis field and grabbing rag work so if you're picking it up you either want to pick it up with gloves or you can pick it up with your bare hands um but just make sure you wash your hands after because it can be a bit nasty and i try and like i know this isn't rag work but i try and like to get as much of these spikies the spiky bits out as much as i can and you don't want to leave keep leaving like massive holes in your field uh, but yeah I didn't know what this video was meant to be I'm just going to call it barn hack summer and winter so but I would say this is a bit of both um, yeah. so right, I want to carry on getting all of this guys okay hold on Oh, ouch, God, that flipping is spiky. Um, hold on, guys. Get off. Wait. Like that. Grab it. Shake it in. But yeah, I'm going to continue taking all of this rag work and stuff out, and I will see you when I am done, basically. And also, guys, can I just mention, um, I've got this special, like, tool for rag work and stuff. And I would definitely recommend getting this. It's a bit muddy at the moment because I've stuck it in the ground so many times. But yeah, this is very good for getting the job done. And how, I'm just going to show you how you can, right, can I zoom in or not? Right, I can't zoom in. Right, so, say, say this was rag work, yeah? You know what, I'm going to move you a bit forwards. So, say that this was rag work, yeah? You want it to get as close to the root as possibly can, like this. And then with your foot, you're just going to press it down and lift. And that is, like, it's literally that easy. And... Once you're done, you just want to kind of like stamp the holes down so it's not like a danger to the horses or anything. Um, so yeah, like say you're getting this spiky bits, just put, push it near the root, push it down and lift. Like that. Oh, that was actually quite a big hole. I wasn't meant to do that. Oh, I'll put a bit back in just to put the horses in any danger because I would never want to do that 
Hold on, guys. I'm trying... There we go. But that's how you use this tool. Don't know where we got it from, but it's very good. So I would definitely recommend getting one of these to get rag work and stuff out. Right, so guys, you don't want to push in that hard, otherwise you'll get like a massive hole that I just made. And that was a mistake, guys. Ooh. Just try and stamp it down. Perfect. But yeah, see you guys when I'm done. So guys, I'm finally finished. I've got as much rag bar and that as I can out of the whole entire field. Um, but yeah, I'm going to empty this and then we will be on to the next barn hack. So guys, next like field hack is um, with water bucket. So you also want to make sure for the summer, your horsey or all around, your horse to get very um, hydrated. So, you know, um, but yeah, you want to make sure all your buckets are actually really clean. Mine are honestly not that clean right now because he hasn't been in the field. So let me just show you what these buckets look like. So Louis has two buckets. He has this small one. It's not that bad, but it could do with some cleaning. And then we have this big manky, gr like look at that in there. It's like a massive green fuzzball. Like, yeah, we need to clean that. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna clean that right now. So what I'm gonna do right now, I'm just gonna try and empty them. I don't wanna make like a flood my field. I say I don't want to flood my field. Um, oh, this one's going to be so disgusting. Do I actually want to... But look, look at that patch where this bucket's been. Do I actually want to empty it right here? You know what? I'm just going to empty it. Oh, man. Guys, was this a bad idea? Yeah, I think so. Let's just to put this by... Did I have done that? Right, okay, the ground's absorbing it. So, like, oh my God, guys. Like, look, you have to see what's inside this bucket. So this is what has come out of it. All of this green sludge. And then look what's in it. Oh my God. That is rank. Like, oh my. That's the patch that it was on. Oh, that is disgusting. It stinks. So, guys, I'm now heading back. Um, while I. So, the water's all clean now. I refilled it and everything. Sorry, I didn't get to film it. I was actually trying to get more water in. But in the process, some of it spills and it's splashed up and now it looks like I've wet myself. So I've had to put my coat around me because <laughs> everyone's going to look at me and think like, what? Um, so, yeah, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm just heading back for these like kind of indoor but not barn hacks. So, yeah, I'm going to now do some other barn hacks. I'm just walking back, still got quite a little bit to walk yet but yeah that's why i'm wearing this massive oversized coat around me because it literally looks like i've just wet myself so yeah i'm gonna get back and then we can do the rest of the barn hacks so the next barn hack is to do with fly spray so if you really need to put fly spray around your horse's eyes but they're not really fond of fly spray um what you can do is Get your fly spray, get a sponge. I'm not going to actually use this because it's really dirty. You can spray it on the sponge and then just gently put it around their eyes and on their face. You can also get fly gel, which is pretty cool. But yeah, um, I'm using the Super Plus fly repellent with avocado coat conditioner. 
super strength formula helps protect against mid bites stops the need to rub so yeah you just put it on just uh, gonna use a little bit put it on do it around the eyes like that and then so then you don't have to spray it like on their face in case they get it up their nose mouth or eyes um but yeah on to the next barn hack so guys the next one is pretty straightforward if you have a pony or a horse that likes to flip their water bucket up um So here I have his Louis water bucket and a tyre. Um, so what you would do is you would put the tyre wherever your water bucket is going to be and put the bucket on top the and then start filling it up and as you fill it up it will slowly sink down um, because in the, in the night Louis um, flips his water bucket up and it goes all over him so this is a good hack to have but yeah so you just put the tire where if you're gonna have your water bucket like say I'm gonna have mine in this corner and then just start filling it up and then as it goes up more it'll, the bucket will sink into it and that way um, your horse can't throw it up and it goes all over them especially in the winter it'll be freezing um, but yeah that barn hack is very helpful um, for me um, well, specifically for me because Louis loves to do that but yeah anyway, anyway on to the next barn hack. So guys, the next barn hack is to do with hay nets. So I'm very fortunate that my yard owner does supply us with these things that you just pop your hay net in. And it holds your hay net open. Or you suck it in. Um, if you don't have one of them, then that is completely fine. I use a bucket. Um, so just get any bucket. You open it up, put your hay net in, and then the edges just go around it like this, like that, and then you can stuff it with hay. And it holds it open. See? Like that. And then when you're done, or you can actually add a bit more to that. Like that. You lift it in. Find the thing. Perfect. But yeah, that is a very handy hack to have. Um, but yeah, when you don't have one of these stands, you can use a little bucket and just put your hand in and fill it up and then take it out. Um, but yeah, that's that hack. On to the next one. So guys, if your horse doesn't drink enough in the summer, what is very really good to have, or anything really, is a salt lick. Because when they're in the summer, they don't get many salts in their system, so this is very good to have. Um, handy, just anywhere in the field anyway. Um, so yeah, I would definitely recommend that. I don't know whether that's a hack or not, but yeah. Would recommend one of these. They're super good to get their salts back up in their body. But yeah, on to another hack. So guys, 
So guys, this is a winter hack slash top tip. Um, so you want to make sure in the winter you have warm footwear. So right now I'm wearing socks, like really long ones. In the winter I normally wear up to three to five socks. Um, because I have big boots that lets me have them. So I'm having these socks on right now. And then these riding boots. But I can also wear wellies. Um, but they're not that thick. But you can also um, if your legs get chaps. Um, that's another good one. Or if you wear tall boots. Um, but yeah, that's another like top tip on like being warm in the winter. So I think I'm going to do a couple more top tips. So the next top tip um, for winter is wear gloves. Now, I'm not like a gloves person. Um, I can't really wear like personally. Um, I don't really like wearing gloves. But I only wear them when my hands are like literally ice. Like, honestly, ice. But yeah, because when I wear like gloves when I'm riding, I don't know why, does anyone else have this? My wrist goes tingly. I don't know whether they're too tight, too loose. I don't know. But yeah, I gloves definitely recommend getting a pair from, I don't know, Ingate Stone, Celery, Ariat, you know the drill, all of these other tack shops. Um, but yeah, definitely, definitely recommend gloves. Um, On to the next hack slash top tip so guys the next top tip is um personally for the i like to put on louis when it's cold a exercise sheet on him so you wear this while you're riding as well like while you're warming up and this goes over their bum and then this goes over the top where your hands would be holding the reins like that this would go near there but yeah that I wear like almost every day in the winter um, but yeah that's an exercise sheet definitely recommend getting one of them you can also get ones for hacks that is kind of like an indoor one because it's furry you can also I've also got a waterproof one for like hacks so when I'm out um, in the outdoor arena so yeah definitely recommend exercise sheets so guys, this tip I wish I knew before getting Louis, and that is lunge your horse. So we've got um, thingy. Uh, so we've got winter in England, obviously. Um, and you know when you get on a horse and they're really spicy in the winter, and you just can't control them. Lunge your horse before getting on them. Um, so then you don't have that whole bucking feel rearing, especially with Louis, I get that a lot. So, yeah, just make sure you lunge your horse in the winter before you, um, get on. I'm not making you do anything, um, but I would recommend doing that. Just lunge before you start riding, because, you know, you could get injured, um, if you fall off because they're really spicy. Um... But yeah, Louis doesn't get that spicy, but he throws in, you know, the buck or two and the rear, in, you know. He's never bronc though, but yeah, would recommend lunging your horse onto the next top tip. So guys, for the summer, uh, this is a hack. Um, what you can do, you can make like these lollipops for your horses. Um, so basically, say you have a container like this, yeah? You would put your horse's favourite treats in there. This is like making at home. Um, but yeah, you would pop their favourite treats, fill it up with water and then put it in your freezer for like a day. And then the next day you would take it and they would lick it. So that's another way to get your horse hydrated. And you could do apple bobbin. Um, so they have to drink it. Uh, another one. Um, I need a bucket. Bucket, come to me. Where are you? Uh, oh, hold on. I've got one in here. No. Oh. Right. So 
on. a bit bent but it'll do so you would feel if your horse has like lunches or anything or for dinner breakfast whatever you can put we put their feed in so louis has half of his i'm only putting a little bit in because he doesn't really have lunch um so, but yeah, you can put that in. You can add some treats or whatever. You can put that in. Alright. I've only got a little bit. Um, and then you can put water in. So, I'm going to go put some water in it. So guys, the last barn tip is to do with flies. Um, so let me grab these kind of, but that's not, so for the flies, we spray as much as we can on these body, like I did with the sponge, you know, for the other tip. Um, so the other, the flyer one is I recommend getting a fly rug, um, especially the zebra ones, because that has been scientific, scientifically proven that flies less land on them because it's like an optical illusion. So, yeah, I would recommend getting a kind of zebra pattern fly fly rug right uh i'm pacing around because i'm trying to aha uh -huh. oh. sorry guys i should have been more prepared so you can also buy fly Oh, damn it, I forgot what you call these. Fly masks. There we go. Now, it's a bit out of shape because it's been in the box uh, for the whole winter. So, yeah, so basically, so pretend my ears are up here. So the ears go in these little things. If your horse has a forelock, they do have holes in them for the forelock, for the forelock to come through. So it basically goes on like this. <laughs> so they're easy like this and then you can do it up the chin strap and then their nose would be down here now i don't think you can see my eyes or i can see my actual self so you can't see me that well but i can see you perfectly clear so yeah it basically goes like that and then and this net protects their nose from flies and their eyes obviously here and their ears but yeah that was the last kind of barn hack tip kind of thing but anyway i hope you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next one bye